can't ask for a better look if you're Boston College. Right now, if you're North Carolina, I'm going right there. Give Baycott a touch and a paint. Every time, every offensive possession. In the front court, Makai Ashton Lankford tries to force a pass. And here comes transition. Well done. Karnick was superb against Notre Dame on December 3rd when he went off for 17 and 13. Kerwin Walton hits a three, and that's a good sight. Yeah, they shot some early threes uh, early in the shot clock. Uh, try to work some more shot clock, move the ball around, and then get higher percentage shots like that right there. From the jump, the heels have been in control. Another three. Oh, he's feeling it. Scooped up by Baycott. The 50-50 win for the Heels. Oh, nifty dribbling by Love and the putback slam. Brady Manic, one-hand thunder in Chestnut Hill. Six-second differential. Shot clock, game clock. Love tees it up and hits it. When they led by 33 against NC State. R.J. Davis connects. What else is new? Dialogue. Here comes Ashton Lankford. Eyes the bucket, and he converts. Makai Ashton Lankford, 14% throughout the first half. They ended at 16 at halftime when they were down by 29. How about the reverse lay-in by Kerwin Walt? Coach Hubert Davis wants that from Armando Baycott, and he hits the three. How do you like that? He's done it all. Top 10 women's matchup coming up at the top of the hour. As Damar Lankford rocks it home. North Carolina fans in the building and giving the Tar Heels a rousing send-off as they'll head home towards Chapel Hill in an hour or so and relishing the 91-65 victory.